mission of the Fatherhood Project at Massachusetts General Hospital is to improve the well-being of children by empowering mothers and fathers to be knowledgeable, active, and emotionally engaged with their children. Addiction-driven behavior damages families. By providing parents recovering from substance use disorder with psychoeducational counseling that supports their recovery, our 10-week Parents in Recovery program helps parents prevent relapse and repair and improve their relationships with their children. Research has demonstrated that along with employment, involvement with children helps parents in recovery prevent relapse into addiction, the goal of our program. In our training workshop held recently in Boston, a live audience of healthcare and social service professionals watched a group of parents recovering from substance use disorder participate in demonstration sessions with our facilitator. Good morning, everyone, again. I am uh, Dr. Ray Levy. I'm a clinical psychologist. I'm the founder of the Fatherhood Project. We have a 10-session group program, the Parents in Recovery program. We're trying to teach parenting skills in a way that, that also includes emotional engagement of the people in the group. We do these trainings so that you can learn to actually run the program. John Bedalament is going to be sitting here. He's the director of programs at the Fatherhood Project. We have five people in recovery who have been kind enough to volunteer. John, most of the time, will be talking and relating to these five people. We want these five people to feel like they're here with John in a group for people in recovery. In the first session, our facilitator works to build a sense of safety so that group members can share their life stories of parenthood before and after their recovery process. It's good to see everybody. Thank you for coming. And I want to just up front thank all of you, the small group, for uh, participating this morning. My job is to make this space safe and comfortable for you to tell your story, for you to explore, for you to learn. I want you to think of yourself as a parent before your recovery, when you were in active addiction. And then I want you to think about yourself as a parent today. I remember when I was in rehab uh, detox and my son would come up to visit me and I was just listening to him talk. And at that moment, I noticed how I was actually had a connection. You noticed how present you were. How present I was. And I realized how I wasn't present when I was using. I've been in recovery 33 years, so I had time to take care of myself first and figure out how to parent myself first before I had my kids. Having said that, I still feel like I didn't really have a clue when they did come along. It was like... As the sense of trust builds, group members start to feel safer sharing their intimate stories. You know, eventually got to the point where, you know, my kids were, you know, in the living room playing and I'd lock myself in my bedroom and had, you know, a needle sticking in my arm. Um, and that stuff haunts me every, every single day. As the curriculum turns to specific goals, each group member is asked to create a personal parenting vision. I want you to imagine your kids. 20 years from now, they're being interviewed for a documentary film about you. I want you to imagine what they might say, okay? What you would kind of want them to say, and then what you hope they don't say. I hope they would not say, my mother chose drugs over us and we don't talk to her anymore. What I hope they would say was, you know, dad didn't give up on us or, or himself. He fought for us and was present emotionally. I want you to think about the group members create individual action plans with ongoing guidance from the group facilitator and each other. My first one was um, being there for my kids, giving them the tools to navigate through life. Narrow that down. What are those tools you want to teach them? The concept of parenting legacy is an ongoing theme of the program. In the session titled Legacy, 
Parents are guided through exercises that encourage them to think about the memories they will leave behind. If your kids come to you and they said, Dad, I'm really, I want you to know how much you hurt me and not tell me about how I should look at it differently, what would you have done? One of my biggest breakthroughs in my recovery was him actually telling me that he thinks it's a good idea that we don't see each other anymore. Wow. And he came swinging and he was crying. You know how heartbreaking that was for him? Yeah, exactly. You listened, you were empathetic, and that is teaching your kids. When I say emotional connection, Children need emotional engagement with parents for healthy development. The theme of emotional connection is another key part of the program. What is one thing you feel like you do well to emotionally connect with your kids? Uh, letting, letting the kids be mad. Mm. Letting them be sad. I used to just try to fix everything and make everybody good. And it's just, it's like denying them of their, you know, emotions. As parents in recovery, w one huge way this impacts your emotional connection with your kids is you have done the, the work of looking inside. Each one Over the 10 week program, parents are given tools to improve their relationships, develop skills, and increase competence in raising their children. And I want to just say thank you to you all. And if we could just give them a round of applause, that'd be awesome. During the training workshop, the 10-week program is compressed into two intensive days. The audience observes it all and has the opportunity to ask probing questions throughout. At the end of the training, with copies of our unique curriculum in hand, they are able to implement our program themselves back at their home facilities. I found this program to be absolutely wonderful, and I mean that sincerely. To be able to see that parents who are really recovering have a chance to know that they have the right to have their children back, to be able to reestablish their life, to be able to reestablish love and trust, it was very touching to my heart. The training was good. It got the wheels turning for me, thinking about how I could implement um, such a group in my current position right now. It was really important to see the facilitation happen the way it did um, because it did feel safe. It was very intimate. Seeing breakthroughs with some of the people attending was really, really powerful. Um, when they would open up about their personal relationships with their children, um, that's not something you can read in a book. Um, you don't get that effect, that impact. It was really, really awesome to see. The Fatherhood Project's training relies on creating a safe space for group members to tell their stories, emotionally engage with the facilitator and each other, and learn parenting skills. Over the course of the program, they become more active and emotionally present parents. If you have interest in learning more about our program or training, please feel free to contact us at connect at thefatherhoodproject.org.